Look at that. So it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna mess up my concentration. What I'm saying. Okay. But I feel like in order to be able to express how you feel about movies like Queen and Slim or Harriet Tubman or other movies that are out that display this trauma done to black people that we as a people as black people we have to have an outlet to be able to express our feelings and how it makes us feel and why does it frustrate us we have to do it in a constructive and a positive manner i mean yeah it's going to be ugly and it could be vulgar and it could be all these different (coughs) things but at the end of it the question should be does it give us hope yeah. And that's the ultimate thing that I want to do with what I write is that it gives hope because just like colorful dreams, I mean, the whole poem up to the end basically talks about the very traumas <laughs> that are brought to black people. Yeah. And, you know, the fact that it is frustrating and that for someone who is not black to understand the frustrations of why black people respond in anger and why black people are so upset and why black people can be volatile and all of these things. But really, at the end of it, it's the reality is that we live in a fallen world and that, that is a part of sin. And that regardless of what form that sin takes, that there's only one solution to that sin, and that's Jesus Christ. And that if we truly understand that, then it gives hope because Jesus is hope. And that's the reason that's going to give people a reason to live regardless of the circumstance, regardless of how much trauma, you know, whether if it's to them or whether it's something that they see in a movie or on social media or something that they hear of a loved one, that those are the things that keep people being able to feel like they have hope to still live on, that they have hope to feel like they have a legacy that can be a part of helping other people to live and to bring justice, you know, to crazy police brutality and stuff like that, that gives people a reason to continue to fight the right way. And mm. when I say the right way, I'm talking about fighting and not saying an eye for an eye, but saying, like, I'm going to be above, you know, the ignorance. I'm going to be above, you know, the shadiness and whatever other stuff. And I'm not going to be, you know, the black person on the poach because massa is, you know, giving me, you know, a piece of whatever just so that I can wrap my people out. But no, I'm going to stick with my people. I'm going to hold my people down. I'm going to encourage my people, you know, even if it doesn't look like it's a winning, you know, streak or whatever. But if I know that in the end that somebody in my community had enough hope to believe that they can do better, that they can do great things regardless of whatever the world says about them, then I've done my part. Yeah. And that's what I want my poetry to do is to inspire people with purpose. That's why it's called Inspired on Purpose. Yeah. And I think that's what I want to do whenever I write this poem sooner than later because these are the thoughts that are on my mind right now. But I don't know. I just I just want to inspire people with purpose, man, because I feel like even something as tragic as that movie, right, it yeah. could still create purpose in people. You know, it could... It could cause people to feel like, you know, dang, I'm so tired of seeing this, man. I should become an attorney. I should Mm -hmm. fight for my people. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of, you know, us not being in the places of power to be able to speak up for things when we're done wrong. No matter how many white people or, or even black people, other whoever kind of people say that, you know, black people shouldn't do this or, oh, they're guilty because of X, Y, Z or whatever the case is. Like, I want to be a person that is a voice you know, for the, the, the voiceless, you know, yeah. um, or yeah, I want to be a, a film director, you know, so that way I can talk about the, the catastrophic things that happen in our communities that a lot of time doesn't get any publicity because the only thing that the media wants to show is that we're doing horrible and we're not good, you know, but I want to show a different side of black people. I want to show the victories of black people. I want to show the even the horrible things that can happen, but out of it, the good that comes like, you know, like those are the kinds of things that I would hope that even movies like this, no matter how heart wrenching it is, that it could still bring purpose and hope, you know, for people to do something good to come from it, you know? Yeah. So I just, I don't know. That's, that was a lot, but no, that's yeah. good. <laughs>